What's up my dudes, Salem here, and today we're going to be doing our Season 8 Draft Analysis for the PBAL. I'm the coach of the CL Samarots, and we're just going to be talking about like what I picked for season. Uh, my team is not as great as I was kind of hoping it to be to, at the start, to be honest. Um, there's like a few glowing weaknesses I have with it, um, but I don't think it's too bad. It's going to be an interesting season, to say the least, because <laughs> A, I'm not, I haven't even finished a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pile, which is... Where we're playing the games this time around. Um, I beat like the first gym and that's it. Since I was doing a sleep luck and my internet cut out. Uh, which is a bit yikes. So I'm going to have to do that again at some point when I've got time. Um, but you know I don't really know a lot of the moves that aren't in the game. Um, I remember there was like one Pokemon I was going to get. I wanted to get Plusle for the memes to run counter Plusle. But it doesn't have counter in this game. Um, so it's pretty interesting because I'm like, oh god, all these moves are just not in this game. Or like, this Pokemon can't get this move uh, this time around. Um, so I'm going a bit blind, but you know, we'll, we'll just see how we do. Uh, so I had the, I was 12th pick out of 12, uh, so I had a wheel pick. Um, which was kind of nice to get two picks in a row a couple times. But the annoying thing was that like I had to wait like so many rounds to get another pick. Um, so I was always scared of someone else drafting what I wanted. So, first off, I picked Flygon, which was a really early pick, and I do regret getting it this early on. Uh, it's just last time, um, I can't remember what league it was in, but I didn't get a Dragon type. And I, I think it was, like, the EWT, because I think that's when I did my Gen 5 mono team. Um, but all the Dragon types got sniped, and I was like, shit, I don't have a Dragon, and I didn't want a repeat of that. So I just got my dragon type out of the way. Flygon was 120 points. So it was the second highest tier. So I thought, you know what? I don't know if it's going to come back to me or not. Um, if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know I love using Flygon. I pick it in like almost every draft. Um, it's just got, it's got decent speed. It's got good mix attack. And it's got a really huge move pool as well. So there's a lot I can run with it. And I love doing that. Like I, I always love versatility in drafts. Uh, I don't want to just use a standard Smogan set. Like, I just like being unpredictable and, like, running random things. Um, so, that's why I like going Flygon all the time. It's also got nice because it's got immunity uh, to ground because it's got Levitate. So, that's kind of nice. Um, I just wish I waited a couple rounds with it because Flygon might have stuck around. And also, Latias stuck around for ages. And Latias was, like, my... Um, my, like, alternative dragon pick. So, I could have got what I wanted, which was Togekiss. Because I really wanted a good fairy type as well. Um, so, I could have got Togekiss this round. And then got Flygon maybe third. Like, I could have probably took it, like, kept it till third and got it then. Um, but it's whatever. What's done is done. Togekiss got sniped uh, before the pick came back to me. Uh, so, I'm just going to have to deal with that. Um, we do have another fairy. He really isn't as good. But, you know what? We're going to work with him. Um, my second pick, however, I think, you know, I, I did really well with this one. Um, so I got Heatran. So that's a very nice fire immunity. Um, I've never used, it's also a po got a poison immunity, which is really good. Um, it's got a good moveset, like, you know, it's got Earth Power, Dragon Pulse, um, Flash Cannon, Magma Storm. It's, it's got a decent amount of moves. Um, its speed isn't amazing, but it's got a lot of special attack, a decent amount of attack to be fair, and some good defenses. Um, and I I just know it's a good mine. I've never used it before, but like I'm I'm very excited to. Um, I've got to think of the nickname for it because I actually can't remember what I called it or if I have a nickname for it. Um, so I'm gonna have to think for a bit. Um, but I thought you know what I'll get uh, like I'll get I want to get a good fire type and Heatran I was kind of surprised lasted this long. So I thought, you know what, I'll go for it. Um, I think that's a really good pick. Um, probably, I think Heatran's probably like one of, if not my best pick. Um, there's one, like I know it's the highest tier one, so that kind of makes sense. But I, I really like it for my core. Um, and I also just, like, my, I've, I've got a really strong uh, Fire, Water, Grass core, as you'll see in a minute. And I I don't have a terrible Fire Dragon Fairy core either. Um, like my Fairy core is kind of lacking a bit, but you know, I think st for Steel and... Steel and Dragon, I'd say it's a pretty solid com like Flygon. Flygon Heatran is a very solid combo, um, especially because it's quad Heatran's quad weak to ground, and I can just switch into Flygon to with Levitate, and it also Flygon's quad weak to Ice, and it's just quad resistant. So I'd say that's a really good trade. Um, like they combo very nicely together, so I'm really happy about that. 
Uh, next pick, I went with Swampert. Uh, so Swampert I've used a couple times before. It's really nice. Um, again, its speed isn't great. Like that's the one, that's the one glaring weakness I'd say I have with my team is my speed. Like my speed, my speed tier is kind of trash. Um, I've got one very fast mon, and that's about it. Um, it. I can set up speed with a couple of them, but it's still a bit. It's still a bit of an oofsy. I'm not gonna lie. It's still a little bit of an oofsy. Um, it's Swampert has like insane attack and like good defenses. Um, it's also got Stealth Rocks, which is really nice. Uh, so I can set up rocks with it. Um, it's quad weak to grass, but that's about it really. Uh, another electric immunity. So like fuck electric types basically on my team. Because, like, I don't really have, like, I, I don't have anything weak to electric type. So if someone's got a strong electric type, you know, it's not too much of an issue for me. Um, I don't have any flying types, and my one water type is part ground. Um, so that's really nice. Um, I think it adds to my just strong core as well. Because um, it can protect heat. It's another Pokemon that can protect heat Heatran very well. Um, you can also kind of protect Flygon, uh, well, unless they got Freeze Dry anyway. Uh, Freeze Dry is kind of yikes on Flygon and Swampert. Um, but it's got a good move pool. Um, I could run Mixed because it's, you know, it's special attack. It's, it's better in attack, but it's special attack isn't too bad either. Um, I kind of, like, I really do wish Megas were in this game. Um, like, mainly because A, I wanted new Megas, and B, because, like, uh, if I got Mega Swampert instead, that would really help my speed tier. Um, I'd have to get some sort of rain, though. Because, um, like, there's another Pokemon that's kind of good in, like, you know, it's kind of fast in rain, but I don't have a good rain setup, unfortunately. Um, and then, ending off my Firewater Grass Core, we've got Tangrowth. Um, I kind of wish I got Slowking or Slowbro instead of Swampert, just because I would have had Dual Regenerator Core. Um, but Tangrowth's really nice, it's really bulky, again, it's really slow. Um, but it's got it's bulk city, um, so I think it makes like a just really good core with Heatran and um, Swampert. Um, it's more it, it's moveable's pretty nice. It's not amazing. It's not like the best in the world, but you know it's got some good moves. Like it's got Earthquake, uh, Knock Off, uh, Poison Jab, um, like physical wise. And it's it's mainly it, it's a bit better in special, but you know you can run it mixed. It's got 110 special, 100 100 uh, physical. Um, so I could run it either. Uh, it's got sword stance as well, which is some nice setup. Um, so maybe I could run like, I mean I could be I could be annoying and just run sleep powder, put them sleeping in sword stance. I don't think I'll do that because sleep powder's accuracy is ass. But you know. It's, if I want to be an arsehole, I can do that, I guess, and I want to risk the, ac risk the accuracy. Um, but Tangrowth is a good pick for a grass type. Um, I probably could have... Grass wasn't too, too high on my priority list. I could have just drafted a good electric type here instead, but... I thought, I thought I'd give something new a go. I haven't really used Tangrowth before. I know it's bulky. Regenerate is really good. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. And then, next up, we've got my Azelf. Uh, so Azelf is the other one which I think was a really solid pick. I'm surprised it lasted this long. Um, you know, it's my round 5 pick. Um, I left it for a while because Mess Spirit was my backup, which is good as well. It does a lot of the things Azelf can do. It just doesn't have as high speed. Um, it's more, it's more like well-rounded, I guess. And, like more defensive, more like it's, it's it's balanced in all stats areas. Um, while Azelf, like I think Uxie's the more bulky one. And Azelf's the more offensive one, so I think Azelf is the one I needed though, just because it's got so I, I, like I kept saying how much I love versatility earlier. It's got so much versatility, like 125 in both stats. Um, it's got U-turn, which is really nice for switching out. Um, it's got nasty plot. Uh, it's got Stealth Rock, which is a good setup as well. It's got Flamethrower, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, Drain Punch, um, Psychic, Psy Shock. Wait, does it get Psy so Shock? Is that in this game? It doesn't! Psyshock isn't in this game, okay. Damn. Fair enough. Um, it's got a lot of good moves, and I'm very excited to use it. Um, it's a cool bean, it's a cool bean. Um, Fire Blast as well, Grass Knot. Uh, it's just it's just a really good mon. It really is what I needed with speed, is speed tier wise, because like, you know, the rest of my mons especially are just very slow. Um, so I needed something just really offensive, really speedy. 
Um, maybe I'll swap out something else to get some more speed at some point because I really could use a bit more speed. But I think I think Azelf's good. I think Azelf was a really um, really nice pick. Um, Hitmonlee is my next pick, which is probably like my second fastest mon. Uh, it's got Limbo, which is kind of nice. Uh, so I can't be paralyzed. Um, Unburden is really nice. Um, so, um, you know, I could get double speed with that. Also got Reckless if I wanted to run like high jump kick or something. Um, I'll, I'll probably be more Limbo or Unburden. Um, like, if I can predict a knockoff and get rid of an item. Um, or especially if I can run like an item, like... I could run, I could run like a bulky sec, a bulky sec, a bulk, a bulky set. I can't word, fucking hell. Um, I could run a bulky set and just like have like weakness policy or something. Um, increase my attack and special attack by a ton, and it also have like just insane speed when burden and kind of try go for a sweep. Um, I think that would be really good. Um, it's got a lot of good moves. Uh, blaze kick, close combat, earthquake, bullet punch for priority. It's also got mock punch for priority. Uh, poison jab, which can count with fairies very well. Uh, rapid spin is really nice. It's one of the main reasons I, I picked it for a spinner. Um, and that on its own is just good to be uh, to boost its speed, to be honest. Because uh, getting a nice 1. time, 1.5 times speed. Um, so I think it's a very good pick. I'm glad it lasted. Fake out's really good on it as well. Um, yeah, flinch. Uh, rock slide's nice on it. Um, it's, 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 it's just a good mod. I haven't used it before. Um, I used Hitmon Top before recently in the MTB Evo. Um, so it's it's something that's similar, but it's also a nice change of pace as well. So like, it's one of those mods that don't feel like a complete unknown, but I also am trying something new. And I think that's nice. I think this team's a, a good mix of me trying thing, a lot of new things, but also going back to my, like... I don't want to say my roots, but, you know, just, like, it's it's me going back to a lot of mods that I've used before, like, you know, Flygon I've used before, Swampert I've used before, um, my next pick, actually, I've used before, um, actually, no, I haven't, that's a lie, uh, t two more picks down, um, uh, I have, uh, there's this, there's one pick which I'm about to say which I haven't used before, but then after that, I think I've used all of them, uh, my next pick is my fairy that I ended up settling with, which is Wigglytuff, um, a lot of the fairies got sniped, uh, so I think I had a choice between Wigglytuff and Gramble. I ended up Wiggly going Wigglytuff just because it was a bit more bulky. Um, also, like, it's got... What's, what abilities does it have? Competitive and Frisk. Uh, that's not too bad. Oh, that's that's not what I was looking at. I was looking at immunities, because um, it is immune to Ghost, and so it was also immune to Dragon. And I kind of like that dual immunity. Um, it's got some nice moves like Blizzard, Dazzling Gleam. Flame from Fire Blast, uh, Hyper Voice, Ice Beam, Perish Song could be interesting occasionally. Um, Wish is kind of nice. Um, Stealth Rock as well it gets, which is really nice. I've got a lot of Stealth Rock users. Um, I think I've got one more after this, um, but that's really nice. And it's just, it's just a good like you know it's not the best fairy. It's it's bulky. That's the main thing it's got. Um, and by bulk, it's basically just HP. It's defense, it's defense and special defense are kind of ass. Um, like, I could try running Assault Vest set, maybe. Like, if I invest into just special attack and, spe like, special defense or something, like, that might be okay. Um, I could try run a bulky set that way. Um, it's got Psychic as well, which is nice. Shadow Ball 2. Um... But it's uh, like it was the best what I could do with Brilliant Diamonds Shining Pearl to have that huge of a fairy selection. So I'll take what I've got. Um, and I, like you know, it's 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 a nice Pokemon. I really like Wigglytuff. Um, just not like not in a competitive sense because I haven't used it before. But like just in general, I really like Wigglytuff. Uh, I've got a lot of attachment to it because of Mystery Dungeon. So well, hopefully it will get a few dubs this season. I'm I'm hoping it will do me good. Uh, then next, I haven't actually put this on the list. I put the, another one type. It was twice because I'm a dummy. Uh, we got Sableye, which is the next three. Like, like I said, next three. I've used all of them before. Sableye is no stranger to me in draft. Uh, I love using it. It's my friend's favorite Pokemon, so he recommends it me a lot. Um, and it's just it's just nice to use. Its stat spread isn't anything to write home about, but Prankster is just amazing. Um, it's like I've got Willow on it. I've got Taunt. I've got Trick. 
Um, I've got Recover. I can be such an asshole with Sableye. Uh, like, I'll never forget. I think it was... Um, oh, who was I fighting with this set? Um, I was fighting someone who had, like, a Draco Vish. And I just stalled them completely with it. Um, oh, God. Why can't I remember who I was fighting with this? Uh, I'll have to look this up because I'm just like, fuck, I should remember this game. It was one of my favorites. Um, Draco vs. Let me, let me try to find this match real quick. Um, do, 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 do. Goki Gamer! Ah, oh, there you go. Sunny Day Sable Eye. It was week 2 of EWT. And that's the Milwaukee Medichans. Um, I managed to use, like, Sunny Day and Willow just to, like, shut down a Draco Vish, and I was pretty proud of that. Um, so hopefully I can do some shenanigans for Sableye this season as well. It's just, it's one of those just asshole mons, and I just like being a dick with Sableye. It's just fun. Prankster is just, like, you know, it's it's literally, Prankster is just an asshole ability, and just how much of a dick can I be with this Pokemon? Um... So it's not really going to get too many kills, but if I c it, it should hopefully lend a bunch of support if I can get a bunch of burns on the team, a bunch of toxics, um, just stall some stuff out. I think that would be really nice. Um, you know, I could run sub Shadow Sneak and just whittle stuff down with Toxic or po uh, Willow. Um, just keep recovering, just like stuff like that. I think that would be really annoying. Uh, knockoff's always good. Um, I, I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to use it. It's always it's always it's always a pleasure to use Sableye. Um, next up, we got Armaldo. Now Armaldo is like it's one of those ones where like I think I got it just because I needed a rapid spinner one season, um, and I didn't think anything of it. Um, but in PBAL uh, season six, my first uh, my first bout in the PBAL, I had it, and it did way better than I was expecting. Like I. I don't think I won that game. Um, it was week nine, but like, I just managed to. I actually got like four or five kills with my Ma Maldo, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like this man is way better than I thought. Um, it's got Stealth Rocks as well. Um, it's like so that's three setups with Stealth Rocks, but it also gets Rapid Spin. So I got two Rapid Spin options, which was really nice. Um, it gets Aqua Jet. Um, I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't get Liquidation because I think it usually does. Um, it's another knockoff user. Um, it gets Rock Slide and etc. Like Stone Edge. Um, X is kind of nice. Um, it, like it can be a kind of like I don't unfortunately have a good rain setter, um, but I can bring it if someone else has rain. Um, but because you know I could use that speed. But even without the rain, I could probably run like maybe Jolly. Armaldo um, and then rapid set up a rapid spin for like uh, you know to get a decent amount of speed. Uh, wait, I'll, I'll speed everything, but like it would do like uh, I think it would do a good job. Um, and I'm hoping it does well. Um, it's got a lot of weaknesses. I'm pretty sure is the main thing. Um, like it's weak to it's, it's weak to rock. I'm pretty sure because uh, it's rock bug. Um, yeah, rock still more. Oh, it's not as many as I thought. To be fair, that's actually kind of that's kind of alright. That's kind of alright. I was I was expecting like six weaknesses. Um, they came through for me once. Um, I can't remember if they came through completely and won us the game, but like it did do a good job. It did it, like in the situation I was in. Um, it's it's like si week six. Uh, no, week nine, season six of the PBL. Definitely go watch it. Uh, the title's called like Diego, my son. Because uh, that's what I call it. I call it Diego. Um, another get uh, and a, a bit of another like Guildmaster Wigglytuff uh, reference in a way, like because I think uh, Armaldo was like Wigglytuff's mentor in the Mystery Dungeon games, so it's like an explorer. Uh, so I called it Diego because uh, Dora the Explorer. So I was like, hey, it's an explorer. It doesn't really have a name other than Armaldo because it's Mystery Dungeon. So I was like, hey, oh, Diego, that kind of works. It kind of works. Um, so hopefully Diego can come through. And then finally, um, you know, you might notice I don't have a electric type. And the reason for this was because I didn't realize Blossom didn't have counter, and I thought, you know what? I want to go for memes. Um, and also, there was just a lot of electric types in the lower tiers, so I thought, I'll get all the other types that I want out of the way in the higher tiers. And even though if it's not the best electric type in the game, I'll have an electric type. Um, and Anthros I've used before. Um, Bear in mind it was Mega Amphros um, in the MTBA Season 1. 
Um, but I managed to wall Nelson pretty well when he was the ground type coach. Uh, I set up a couple of carton guards, magnet rise, and just kind of sat there for a while, which was really fun. Uh, that was a good one. Um, so I've I've got some I've got some ideas I could run with this. Uh, some bulky ideas. Uh, I've just gotta hope it can tank some hits. Um, and hope I can set up, which would be good. Um, it's got some surprisingly okay coverage for an Electro type, like nothing crazy. Um, but it does get Dragon Pulse, it does get Power Gem. Power Gem is the nicest one, I think. Um, you know, Volt Switch is just typical for an Electric, which is good. Um, it gets Focus Blast. Um, like, like I said, it's nothing crazy. Electric types don't even have that co much coverage, but I really like it that it has Power Gem. Like, there's not many special rock type moves. But it has, you know, it has that special rock type move. And rock isn't really, like, you know, you don't really see that many electric types with a rock type move. So I think that's good coverage. Um, and, you know, it did, it did me well in the MTBA. Hopefully it will do me well this season as well. Um, so that's about it with my team. Um, I'm still a bit conflicted on it. Like, you know, with the speed tiers and whatnot. But hopefully it will do a good job. And we'll just have to see how the season goes. Uh, so let me know what you think about my team. What would you change? Um, hopefully you're also looking, for the, looking forward to the season. And the next, the first week should be up next week. So thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Greatly appreciated. Uh, all the other coaches should be in the description below if you want to check them out and give them a sub as well. Uh, that'd be very molto bene. And yeah, I'll see you uh, in the next, in the first battle next week, I guess. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you soon, dudes. Bye.